harmonics, what they are, why they should be prevented, and how to reduce them by Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters, and PMR 446. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul, Mike Zero, Whiskey November Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango 730 if you catch me on 11 meters and PMR 446. Now, I want to talk to you about harmonics, and this is due to an experiment with the Capo EA35 linear amplifier. Hmm. Yeah. I was doing it short range into a dummy load and into the RTL SDR as the receiver and I found out that what this linear amplifier is actually doing. It's not just amplifying the wanted signal from the radio, which was a President Grant 2 in this case, but it's amplifying the harmonics. So, which is bad. And that's bad because it causes interference to everything else. Now, part of my advanced training, which referred to this book, which is no longer, no longer a, well, correct, because this is for the old syllabus, and this is more how I did my training. So you've got a, so you've got the harmonics, which clusters unwanted emissions in here, because they are technically unwanted. They are at exact multiples of the transmitted frequency. So basically, you don't, it basically, it says here, in the example of the 50 megahertz band and the second harmonic co would cover 100 to 104 megahertz which is part of the VHF broadcast band so you'd obviously have to have proper filtering in there so and it also tells you about filters which in the case of citizens band a low pass filter is adequate because the harmonics would be multiples going above so a low pass filter is what you would need So, harmonics. So, so the Burner Brigade all sit on UK Channel 19. If some of them are actually using these linear amplifiers, as opposed to, say, a CRT SS6900N, a CRT SS9900, President Lincoln II, or whatever other old illegal radio that they've got that can transmit in those frequencies and put out more power than 4 watts, then here is the problem. So, I'm going to just clear the calculator, because the way that, where the 50 megahertz example, that would be easy anyway, and I wouldn't have even had to look at the book. Here's what we've got. So, if we go with frequency 27 decimal 78125, just to double check so that was on the right frequency. Anyway, if I multiply that by 2, 55 decimal 5625. That's in between the amateur 6 meter allocation and some and uh, the 4, four meter allocation. So it's not within an amateur band, but it is within other frequencies that are probably very much in use. And if there's interference in those frequencies, the the uh, the per people who have the license to operate in those frequencies won't be happy. And if it's a safety critical frequency then you will get into serious trouble, Ofcom will, uh, will confiscate your equipment and you will be fined and banned from holding any transmitting license due to an offence under the Wireless Telegraphy Act. So, you don't really want to be doing that. So, if I then add to that that again, which is 277815 I'm then given another frequency of 83.34375 MHz. It's that falls between the amateur 4 meter band and the, the VHF broadcast band, but again it's within frequencies that are pretty much in use. Every single frequency does have a licensed user. So again, same problem. Now the really big problem will come if you And the next one, okay, 111 decimal, 1, 2, 5 megahertz. That is an aviation allocation. If you cause interference there, what's going to happen is you are going to, and you are definitely going to end up having your equipment confiscated and then obviously 
then you get the fines and then possible imprisonment. So you don't want to be doing that. Not meant to scare you, but yeah, I am making a very valid point. So... So basically what you need to do is to get... If you're running a high power transmitter and you have a legal entitlement to do it, you need to make sure those harmonics are reduced. So in the case of the Citizens Band, even with a 4 watt tran transceiver, those harmonics are there, but they're so far down in the noise, no one ever notices them. So, a low pass filter, Ofcom even recommend you do this, would, can be put between the radio and the, the antenna. Ooh, I'm trying to word out there. So, low pass filter, basically what that does, is it allows everything below the cutoff frequency through, but everything above the cutoff frequency is then blocked. I'm just going to look it up on Google now, because this wasn't actually a planned video. So, low pass filter. Has to be one designed for RF. I'm just trying to find the correct circuit on my um, uh, So basically, uh, 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 so RF low pass filter circuit. Basically, it filters generally its inductors and capacitors, and you've got to um, uh, make sure it's tuned correctly. So, if you want. If you want to use it on the citizen's band, then it has to be something that will cut off at about 30 megahertz. Uh, an antenna analyzer, if you've got one, will help greatly towards building such a thing. So, there are plenty of uh, resources on how to build these on Google. I've just run all of your favourite search engine of your choice, because I know some people use the inferior DuckDuckGo. So, so there we go. So, they search. so if you search on the search engine of choice for low pass filter for a for RF circuit then you can build this filter yourself and uh, it wouldn't be too expensive as long as it can also handle the power being put through it you've got to bear that one in mind as well so if you say we're just putting the 4 watts out of a stock CB through it then what that would do is is in a, you'd still get a bit of loss, but it would clean out all the harmonics. But then what they would then what you'd be able to do is then you'd be able to feed a linear amplifier if you so desired. And you do that one at your own risk, as I said. But what I would also advise is having a low pass filter on the output as well. So a low pass filter that can handle the amplifier's output, in this case it's 35 watts. That amplifier, by the way, actually came with a load of CB stuff, so it, ha it probably has been on the air at some point in its life, but not since it arrived here. Uh, so it came with the Team Road Com FS, which is in the other room, which my spouse was using when, and they were over here. Hmm. So I'm just hoping that they can come back and use it again. Although I did say in a previous video, I actually bought that for a hopeful campervan project for the future. And uh, once I have enough money, then I can do that. But I won't be putting any linear amplifiers in it. It's going to be like a mobile radio shack that I have in mind. Because, you know. So, so the only time I'd have anything that can transmit above 4 watts is anything that's on the amateur bands, which I'm actually eagerly entitled to transmit at 400. So, all the exposure's wavering up and down a bit, so I think the sun's trying to come out. So... So, RF harmonics. Uh, some cases you would need a band pass filter, so that stops everything either side of the frequency you want. Um, that's, a, that's actually ideal for curing things like pager interference in the 2 meter band, so there's that as well. And you would all. 
or if you wanted to cut up if you wanted um, uh, a cut off below the frequency you're interested in then you would use I think that's right it would be band, band stop or a high pass filter well high pass would be for anything you'd have the cut off frequency at the bottom and then a high pass is basically everything above the frequency frequency you want including it, which isn't really ideal I don't think in radio applications. Um, you get the band stop filters as well which uh, stop every, which basically um, uh, stop everything at a set frequency but allow every other frequency through. So yeah, but the main way of getting rid of harmonics on 11 meter radios and HF equipment would be a band pass, band pass filter which basically allows everything up to the cutoff point through. So basically, you've got everything up to um, uh, the th 30 mega, 30 megahertz, and then it cuts off, and then that's it. So yeah, I hope this has been a little bit enlightening. I'm not um, a, an expert at this, um, although I did have to learn about it in my amateur radio training, as you will know now, which is why I refer to the book. That book is kind of useful resource even now that I've passed the exams. Um, although it's not applicable for the current syllabus. If you want to, if you are going to, to hopefully when all this uh, lockdown is over or whenever it can be finally arranged that you want, that you can take your, your, your advanced then you'd have to buy the new books. Um, however, at the moment Remote invigilation is being carried out for the foundation license level, so if you've been training for that and you're ready to take your exam, um, I'll, I'll suggest uh, you look at the RSGB's website and they'll to tell you more. So if you don't want to take the exams and you want to stay on the 11 meter band, then that's, that's all well and good as well, each to their own. I, I use 11 meters even though I am a, a licensed ham and I use it legally and above board. Obviously, if I guess if I've got the right to use about nearly well up to four hundred watts on nearly every well most frequencies, not all, um, on the amateur band. So I don't see the, the 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 thrill of using more power on eleven meters than I should. And also, I like to use as little power as possible to make the contacts. I don't like to use too much power. So there is that as well. So, ways to get rid of harmonics is use as little power as you need or fit a filter if you must use more power than you should. So, and that's why, unfortunately, CB does have a bit of a bad name for itself when the people buy the linear amplifiers, not realising they're causing interference with everything, and that's why people's TVs and whatnot were knocked out back in the day. So, so yeah. So, that's why CB, unfortunately, has a bit of a bad name, but... It's, it's all right. It it does what it does. It's useful as a communications tool, and I enjoy using it as well as much as I enjoy using the amateur amateur bands. So yeah. So if you if you want to get if you want to get a filter to put on your CB, even if you're only using four watts, then that's up to you. I mean, if you do want to use a linear amplifier, I recommend two uh, filters: one on the input to the amplifier to get rid of the harmonics from the radio, and one on the output of the amplifier just to make absolutely sure. So there you go. So, so this is Paul Mike Zero Whiskey November Uniform or Two Six Charlie Tango Seven Three Zero. If you catch me on eleven meters and PMR four four six. So, I hope to work on a band soon. And uh, what I also hope to do this coming week is get the PNI Escort HP seventy one twenty on the air, and that will be using the radio with its stock power output and hopefully me parked on top of a hill somewhere. Uh, with the T2LT antenna and maybe if the conditions are right I might be able to work some sort of distance with it so because that will be the radio I'll be using that day because it will be filmed for YouTube and I will all I will be asking anyone who I speak to if they want to be on the video and if they don't then that's absolutely fine so I won't include you on the video but obviously it'll all be videoed for for the channel so it should, and I'm hoping to do that on Wednesday, so that's one of my days off. So, send freeze for now, guys. Keep, keep yourself safe, look after yourself, watch for the virus, and 
and enjoy playing with your radio because that's what our hobby is all about and you know I'm all for I'm all for radio and and let's see what will the future bring hopefully I might even get some more radios up on this channel but I'm gonna get that PNI Escort on the air this, this coming week all being well and so stay tuned for that one and see how well that dinky little radio can actually perform because if you've seen the video on that already, it's a really small radio, and I actually like it. the The antenna it came with was uh, is a little bit questionable because I think it need, you need to seriously modify it before it'll work on uh, 2781. And I think it's a 40 channel antenna anyway. So, but it looks like a good radio, and it will be on this channel hopefully in the coming week. So I'm going to go now, and you enjoy your radio. And uh, just bear in mind what I said about using linears, you should really use filtering with them to make sure the harmonics are as low as you can get them if you must use them. I plan to use that on 10 metres, so I would probably use filters with it because otherwise I'll be amplifying the harmonics of the radio as well and I don't want to be doing that because one of the other things us amateurs have to do is make sure that we're not causing interference. So, 7.3s for now guys. Don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified of new videos as I upload them. 73 is from Paul, Mike, Zero, Whiskey, November, Uniform, or 26 Charlie Tango, 730 on 11 meters and PMR 446.